you spend a lot of your time around young people. Yeah. So I was wondering, you know, this generational question I feel is also a component of this because younger people have grown up with a different consciousness, a different reality around them. Their, their, their kind of life conditions are, are vastly different from their parents and grandparents. And I wonder what degree that plays in. So how, how do you notice or do you notice that the generation Y and the millennial folks are different in any important ways from the others that you've encountered? Please tell me something great. <laughs> Is there promise in the coming generations? So the students are amazing. Mm. I've really seen a change in the 25 years I've been teaching. I don't think I could have had this conversation or have taught the kind of courses I'm teaching now 20 years ago or 10 years ago or five years ago. Mm. So the students are open to this broader conversation in a very different way. And they're open because they can see that something is wrong. Mm. And that just continuing business as usual is not going to get us where we want to go. That's the good news. Mm. The bad news is the world is a very big place. Yeah. And the students have loans to pay off and families to take care of and I think are deeply uneasy about the degree to which any single person can make a difference. So we talk a great deal about should you just go and get a job and make some money and then try and make a difference. Is there a different way to, to go, particularly if you're a young person? And I think when you see the polls that suggest that a lot of the millennials are much less engaged than, say, people their own age in the 70s and less likely to take political action, a lot of that is because they feel it won't make a difference mm. rather than because they don't feel it's important. So I think one of our tasks, those of us who are more senior, is to open up space for people who are younger to see how much difference they can make. I think partly that's revitalizing political action. That's not my field, but I mm. talk to friends who are trying to you know, be part of that, and I think that's critically important. But business is interesting, because we know that entrepreneurship can make a difference. Mm. And a lot of the young uh, people I see, I mean, they're business, business school people, but they can see that entrepreneurship could make a difference. And so I think that's one of the reasons this purpose-driven organization and starting entrepreneurial firms that are more purpose-driven, they can see that that might actually contribute to change. Mm. And that could be a lever that would help move things. Mm. 